This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi, I'm Allison. This is Wonder Crochet. Welcome back. If you can't already tell by my voice, I've been sick for like over a week, which is strange for me because I think the last time that I was sick with flu-like symptoms was like three years ago, so this really knocked me out. So I thought today would be a nice reset day. I'm gonna go through the things that I've been working on because I haven't been on here in a couple weeks uh, to just update you on my projects and show you the newest free pattern that I'm working on that I haven't shown anyone at all yet. And then of course we desperately need to clean the craft room when I show you. It's just an absolute mess. <laughs> and then I also want to restock some fun stickers that I want to show you. So hi, I've missed you. I hope that you've been well. I'm very happy to be back and feeling like myself again. If you can see this mess here behind me, I was filming a reel of all my fall crochet patterns and it really got me thinking about new fall patterns that I want to make. So I'm working on a free one. I'll show you it in a minute. And then I have a new one that I'm, I don't think I'm gonna start working on today, but if you like my doll patterns, then I think you'll love that one. I'm super excited about that one. But I haven't been on here in a minute just chatting about crochet projects. And I wanted to show you, if you didn't already see this one, my elephant pattern. I just released this one. I released it while I was sick, so I don't think he got the love that he deserved. <laughs> But he's just like all my other animal patterns. He's a cute little sitting animal. But I did make this one low sew. So you just have to sew the head to the body and sew the legs to the body as well. And everything else is no sew. It's kind of difficult to make the trunk and head one piece and then have the ears be crocheted on as well. But they're pretty sturdy so I'm happy with how it turned out. And I had to make a modification for this one as well. And this is included in the pattern, but I had to make a woolly mammoth. And I didn't really realize until I started looking up pictures and doing research of mammoths how small their ears are. So I made the ears much smaller than the elephant ears. But if you want to make your own cute little mammoth and elephant plushies, these patterns are in my shop. And this is my latest crochet pattern. So I haven't done a free pattern since last month and I like to do at least one free one a month. And I've been working on this one for, I'll be honest, years. Uh, I created this, I think last year, maybe even the year before, no. I think I created it last year. And you might not be able to tell because it's not finished yet, but it's Pom Pom Burn. If you like Sanrio characters, you know I love Sanrio characters. Like there's my little summer Hello Kitty. I wanted to do a Pom Pom Burn that was no sew. So his ears and arms and legs, they're all crocheted on. And I was going to do a summer themed one, but it's already almost mid-August. I just, I completely missed the first week and a half of August I was in bed. And so I think I'm going to make a fall one because I'm ready for fall crochet. I'm ready for just fall temperatures in general. And I have all my fall projects here that I just made that reel from. You can check that out on my Instagram if you want to see them all. But I think for this one, I am going to put a little pumpkin or like pumpkin hat on because Pum Pum Purin, I'll pop in a picture, has like a little brown hat. So I think that would be really cute if that looked like a pumpkin. And you know I love making free crochet patterns. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. And I know a lot of you are interested in making them as well. So if you don't already have a website where you can post your free crochet patterns or sell crochet plushies, I would definitely check out Squarespace. If you're not familiar with Squarespace, it's the number one platform for entrepreneurs and creatives to succeed online. You don't need any prior web experience to build a beautiful website from the ground up. It has all the tools so you can sell physical goods as well as digital content and services. And there's also flexible website templates. So you can get started with a professionally designed Squarespace website template where you can customize the look, update the content, and then add the features to fit your needs. So if you wanna create your own art website without any prior web design experience, Squarespace is definitely for you. So if you wanna save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain, you can use the code WONDERCROCHET in the link in my description. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and let's hop back into our morning reset. So I'm going to work on this today, and we'll see kind of the final prototype. I'm really excited for this to come together. But first, let's clean the craft room. I'm telling you, it's quite the mess. Right before I got sick, 
my niece had her fifth birthday party and I made a fun little game for the kids to play. So all the leftover prizes and the things from the game are all scattered around. I had little crowns for them all to wear and decorate. That stuff is, is scattered around. We'll do a fun little cleaning montage. So grab a crochet project, relax, and let's tidy up. got that like 20 pound box of polyfill this is the second like slab in it and I could finally get rid of the box that was in the closet because it was taking up so much room so I just like cut a hole in this one and this is where I pull the polyfill out of now so I have it stacked on top of boxes of plushies and these are the ones that I've said a million times I need to sell these so I think I will do a market maybe in the fall where I can sell these plushies and make room for more. <laughs> so I'm going to just take a few plushies and put them in the bin. I don't have that much room left in this bin. As you can see it's pretty full but I want to make a little bit more room on this shelf here because as you can see plushies are just taking over. So I want to take bigger ones and put them in the bin. I could get another bin. This is my second bin of plushies. I could get another so that I can actually like prepare stuff for a market because I don't just want to take just a bunch of random plushies if I'm doing a fall market. I want to make like pumpkins and apples and stuff like that too. But as I said, I'm running out of room. The real problem is I keep making all these jumbo plushies like this and this ice cream cone. I have a mermaid. I need to just stop making jumbo plushies, but I enjoy it. I'll put the giant polyfill back. <laughs> and we're all clean. Let me show you. Now I sell crocheting animal stickers. I have a bunch of different cute animals and I like to include little freebie stickers with all of my bigger sticker purchases just because it makes it more fun. But as you can see my freebie stickers are definitely dwindling. There's only a few left in there so I ordered a bunch of new ones and I wanted to unpack those together so we can do a little restock of the freebie stickers. And if you place a sticker order and you see some freebie stickers that you want, uh, then you can just include in the order notes 
and let me know which ones you want and I'll make sure to include those in your order. I get these freebie stickers from Stick With Your Heart on Etsy because I really just love how many options there are. I'll just show you a few of them. These silly goose ones I thought were adorable. And then of course these cute little ghost ones for fall. These little happy candy bars. Some cows. Frogs. I see one in there with a ball of yarn. I love when there are little ones with little balls of yarn. And then these mushroom kitties were so cute. So I'm going to unpack all of these and put them in here. Although I feel like they might not all fit because I got so many. leave it at that for now just so that I can see everything that's in there and then I'll put these in my drawer and restock them as needed. But again, if there is a freebie sticker that you see that you really want, uh, then obviously include that in the order notes and I'll make sure to give you that. Now I'm going to work on my fall pom pom pern plush so that I can finish that with you today and hopefully I can get it up on my website maybe today or tomorrow. Now I designed this several years ago so I can tell that he's a little wonky so I may have to work on the design a little bit but I want to finish up kind of the prototype first and I think I'm going to do the eyes nose and mouth in felt well I could do safety eyes but I'm going to stuff it and close it up first because I don't know where I want the placement to be on the safety eyes he's nice and stuffed and it's looking nice and chonky here. Also, I apologize, uh, my neighbor is cutting their grass, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Okay, I finished the body, and it actually looks cuter than I thought it would look. So I just need to make the pumpkin for the top of the head here, and then obviously at the face. So I hope it turns out cute. finish the little pumpkin. I don't know why, making tiny crochet pumpkins is one of my favorite things to do ever since I started crocheting. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna look really cute. Okay, so I'm going to sew the pumpkin to the top here and then do the face and then I think that's it. And there he is. I still need to add the tail on the back, but I think he's really cute. Nice and chonky. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending the morning with me on this little crochet morning reset. Again, I'm so happy to be back and feeling like myself again. So comment down below what types of videos you'd love to see next. And don't forget to give me a follow over on my Instagram. I post all my new projects and fun over there. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I'll see you again real soon.